Hi, this is Nell with Joyous Garden and today I'm going to show you how to make a corsage using flowers and succulents. I have a lot of them in my garden and I use them for a lot of crafting. Actually, this is why my craft table is so is so cluttered is because I'm, I'm working on a, on a book right now that's going to be decorating Christmas ornaments with succulents and tillandsias. And I also made a boutonniere in a previous video, so if you want to make a boutonniere, you can refer to that video. So I've cut off a flower head and I've taken off all the all the leaves really close close on the stem here because they're just going to wilt anyway. And I put the wire through the stem near the flower head. And I'm using 24 gauge wire for this kind of work you can use anything anywhere from 24 to 32 gauge floral wire. And then I'm going to take this calicoe Right, I don't know if I want to go there or there. I'm, I'm going to take it there. And I will take the aeonium toward the front. And then I'm going to wrap the wire around the stems. It's a little awkward. And this is why I left this extra piece of wire long, is because you can wrap it around the stems to kind of hold them in place. There's no graceful way to do this, believe me. And now I'm going to tape this entire bundle. This is floral tape. Again, you can find it at Michael's or a flower floral supply place. And I, you wrap it really tight at the top. You go around a few times, and this tape is a little, little sticky, so it's going to just stick, even though it feels like it may not. You can go back over it and do it. So I'm going to do it down a ways. So now I have my three little bundles put together. You can do five if you, if you want a bigger corsage you can use bigger flower heads smaller flower heads different type of flowers it just depends on, on the on the woman who's going to wear it and then we can i start to put them together like that because i want it to be like that there so and that's what the wire is for you can go back and adjust it after you're done so then i just wrap one around the other so it holds so now the three stems are put together and you're going to put another round of the floral tape over them to hold them together. First of all, I want to make sure it's how I, how I want it to be. There we go. And I'm going to do that same taping. That's why corsages and boutonnieres are Especially corsages are expensive because it's just a lot of hand work, detail work, and that adds up. But this way, maybe you can do one or two of your own. Well, it looks like it could either be worn on the wrist, too, or you can pin it on a purse. That's oftentimes what you do. But if you wanted to have, have a pigtail, you could take something like this here. And these, this is kind of th 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 thicker here, so I have to start down here. Or you can just do a, a simple curled up and like this. Or you can just make a very a simple bow. You can cut the tails off if you want. Um, and then you can cut the end off if you don't want this. Or you can curl the end up here again. And that's it makes a nice size. And you can do any color. I've got glitter on it because I've been working with <laughs> glitter on my table a lot. I necessarily wouldn't put glitter in a corsage unless it was for maybe a prom. You could do that. That that would be fun for a teenage girl to have some glitter all over. And here's a here's another way to do it, which is a little bit more unusual. Um, it's not unusual to wrap the stems in the, in the ribbon, but you can actually put the bow at the bottom of the stem. And then I just curled the tail, the tail of the um, corsage itself under there. And then you would have something a little bit different there. And here's the boutonniere. For the man that I made to go along with that. I made it in the previous video so you can see these two. I put a little jute on that. And to keep these fresh, if you're not going to um, use them right away, you can actually put them in the refrigerator overnight. Or th These would even keep for a couple days. The, and these asters are pretty long lasting, just as long as you have them in the refrigerator. And make sure it's not the freezer <laughs> in the refrigerator to keep them kind of cool. So this is Nell with Joyous Garden. 
please visit our website, joyousgarden.com. And if you want more tips and inspirations, join us in the link right here.